Good day everyone! Sa video na ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo kung ano ang principal roots, determine whether rational or irrational numbers, determines between what two integers the square roots of number is. Kung gusto nyo ang malaman, just keep on watching! Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH! Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Good day everyone! Bago tayo magsimula, i-review lang natin yung principal square root. Principal square root is a positive square root of a number. Ang rational is any number that can be written as fraction. At ang irrational naman, non-terminating and non-repeating decimals. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung mga rational and irrational examples, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa description below. Okay, let's have an exercise. Determine the principal roots and tell whether rational or irrational number. Principal roots, ang hanapin natin, ibig sabihin, ang i-consider lang natin ay positive. Number 1, the square root of 400. Ano ang principal root niya? Anong number ang imumultiply mo ng dalawang beses magiging 400? That is, positive 20. Irrational or rational? Rational kasi, integer siya. Number 2, Fourth root of 16. Anong number ang imumultiply mo ng apat na beses magiging 16? That is positive 2. Kasi 2 times 2 is equal to 4, times 2 is equal to 8, times 2 is equal to 16. Ibig sabihin, ang principal root niya ay 2. And this is rational kasi integer siya. Number 3, the square root of 39. Anong number ang imumultiply mo ng dalawang beses magiging 39? Wala siyang principal roots, ibig sabihin, this is irrational. Kasi hindi siya perfect square. Number 4, the square root of 26. Anong number ang imumultiply mo ng dalawang beses magiging 26? Wala, hindi rin ito perfect square, ibig sabihin, this is irrational. Number 5, the square root of 1 over 49. Anong number ang imumultiply mo ng dalawang beses magiging 1 over 49? That is 1 over 7. Kasi 1 times 1 is equal to 1, 7 times 7 is equal to 49. And this is rational dahil fraction siya. Number 6, cube root of 27. Anong number ang imumultiply mo ng tatlong beses magiging 27? That is positive 3. Kasi, 3 times 3 is equal to 9, times 3 is equal to 27. This is an integer. Ibig sabihin, this is rational. Number 7, the square root of 2.25. Anong number ang imumultiply mo ng dalawang beses magiging 2.25? That is 1.5. And 1.5 is a decimal. Ibig sabihin, rational siya. Number 8, The square root of 0.01. Anong number ang imumultiply mo ng dalawang beses magiging 0.01? That is 0.1. And this is decimal, ibig sabihin, rational din siya. Number 9, the square root of 12.1. Anong number ang imumultiply mo ng dalawang beses magiging 12.1? Hindi siya perfect square, ibig sabihin, irrational ito. Irrational. Okay? Number 10, the square root of 25 over 36. Anong number ang imumultiply mo ng dalawang beses magiging 25 over 36? That is 5 over 6. Kasi 5 times 5 is equal to 25. 6 times 6 is equal to 36. This is a fraction. Ibig sabihin, rational din siya. Okay? Okay? Ganun lang magkadali magdetermine kung rational or irrational ang number. Another one, which two consecutive integers does square root lie? Ang ibig sabihin niyan, ano yung mga perfect numbers na close kay square root of 77? Ang perfect number na malapit kay square root of 77 ay square root of 64. 
yung square root of 64 is less than square root of 77. At yung mas malaki kay square root of 77 ay square root of 81. Ibig sabihin, not sa pagitan siya ng square root of 64 is e and square root of 81 is equal to 9. Ibig sabihin, nasa pagitan ng 8 and 9. Number 2, square root of 90. Anong perfect number ang close kay square root of 90? That is, square root of 81. Ibig sabihin, square root of 90 is greater than square root of 81. But, less than, ano ang perfect number na close kay square root of 90? That is, square root of 100. And then, extract the square roots. Square root of 81 is equal to 9. And, square root of 100 is equal to 10. Ibig sabihin, yung square root of 90 ay nasa pagitan ng 9 and 10. Number 3, square root of 48. Anong perfect number ang close kay square root of 48? That is, square root of 36. Ibig sabihin, square root of 36 is less than square root of 48. But, ano yung mas malaking perfect number kay 48? That is, square root of 49. Ibig sabihin, yung two consecutive integers ay positive 6 and positive 7. Kasi, ang 6 ay square root ng 36 at ang 7 ay square root ng 49. Number 4, square root of 243. Anong perfect number ang malapit kay 243? That is, square root of 225. Ano naman ang mas malaking perfect number kay 243? That is, square root of 256. Then, get the square root. Ano ang square root ng 225? That is, 15. Kasi 15 times 15 is equal to 225. Ano naman ang square root ng 256? That is, 16. Ibig sabihin, ang square root of 243 ay nasa pagitan ng 15 and 16. Number 5, square root of 5. Anong perfect number ang mas maliit kay 5? That is, 4. Ibig sabihin, square root of 4 is less than square root of 5. Ano naman ang mas malaking perfect number kay 5? That is, square root of 9. Ibig sabihin, ang two consecutive integers ay square root of 4, that is 2, and square root of 9, that is 3. Ganon ang pag-identify ng two consecutive integers sa pagitan ng square root. Okay? So, thank you for watching!